Hey guys, it's Rohan here. Welcome back to another tutorial of GDevelop 5. So in this tutorial, we will try to create an endless runner game under 5 minutes. So let's start by creating an empty project, add a new scene, add a sprite, player. So let's make it red. let's make an obstacle ok let's make it black ok so now let's add a tile sprite I guess for ground ok let's create one so now let's come to event sheet add a group game so at the beginning of this scene we want to create our player so create an object player screen white slash 2 Green height slash to this layer. Okay. So now let's create our tile object ground. Okay. So for that we can do something like um, screen exposition will be zero and y position will be like screen height minus 64 okay now let's change our height and white of our ground okay wide of ground will be like green wide plus 50 drag it down height will be green height plus 64 sorry let's make it 64 okay so let's create a timer timer ok ok so now image x offset ground add partial is to time delta ok now value of facing timer time in seconds to ok now add an action um, reset the timer first of all okay now oh I forgot to do something let's add a platform character mm. let's make it 800 and for us read 800 okay and add a platformer platform okay now 
let's create our obstacle obstacle will be screen white plus 10 and round y plus 64 sorry minus 64 okay now let's change the height height of the obstacle set to random in range 0.5 comma 1.5 okay change the wide set to 1 okay add force to our obstacle angle 1 is 0 permanent speed in pixel random with steps this will be 100 in start and highest 1300 in 50 steps I guess okay so now okay now we can add action condition for collision of our player with our obstacles and let's add another or and position of our player is some um, greater than screen height I guess okay change the scene to new scene okay let's add another thing also um destroy outside margin 100 okay so now let's it's a preview hmm, why is a okay i think there is oh i see scale on y axis and let's make it scale on x axis i guess now it will work okay hmm. okay so now our game is ready Thanks for watching, hope you guys liked it, thank you.